I went to Five Below and I saw these really cute light up love decorations, but I wanted to go home and make my own, so let's go and get started. Here are some of the things that you're going to need for this. You're going to need some sort of pliers, some fairy lights, of course make sure that they turn on before you go and put these on anything, test them out, and let's put those off to the side. Some thicker gauged wire, put that off to the side too, and then these Jenga blocks that I glued together a while back, some of them were kind of cracked and broken, and they're just glued together with wood glue. Now I'm taking a piece of paper, and the base that I'm using, I'm going to go and trace around it. You could always use just a solid piece of wood or whatever you want to use, but trace around the base that you're using. It can honestly be anything. I just think that this is a really good contrast from the wire to this wooden base. So after that's traced, now you're going to go and write out love. And I'm writing this in cursive, but very spaced and kind of more simplified. Now, the wire I'm going to go and stretch out and see which side is going to be best. This was wrapped and it was curved, so going the other way really isn't going to work and it's going to be kind of hard to bend this, so I'm going to go with the curve, which is usually a good idea to go with wire because you want to go and try to have the least amount of resistance. Now what you do to go and write out all of these letters is you take the wire and you almost trace it with whatever text that you have. So you're going to go and hold the end of it, slowly bend it, and use your fingers to kind of just go and get it to whatever the shape is. The L, what you do is you take the wire, you go up, create a loop, and then in the center, you're going to go and take your pliers and just press this together very lightly. Now that you have the L formed, let's go back, create this little dip, so just press your finger down, and now let's create the O. The O is a little bit difficult, and I'd say this is probably the most difficult letter out of all of them, and it does take a bit of time to go and do, so create the little hump at the top of it, use your finger for the bottom hump, and continue to go and twist this wire. As you're twisting this, bring this up to almost where the center of the O is, go and bring the wire down, and then move that little piece that is there over to the side and try to move it inwards a little bit. You're probably going to need your pliers again to go and just slightly press this. So let's go and line this back up now. Now we're going to go and work on the V. Have the wire extended out a small amount, bring it down, use your pliers just to go and create kind of almost a point, but it should just be pretty rounded because we don't want anything to be too pointy. We want it to kind of flow all together. Go down, use your fingers to bend it up. Bend it only a portion of the way. Line it back up. Go and have the wire come out a little bit, and now we're going to make the E, which is pretty much almost exactly like the O, just with a tighter circle at the top, and then continue the wire off to the side. This little bit of extra wire that's here, I'm just going and putting it around with a little line that I drew there. And here is what my wire text looks like. Writing with wire is a lot of fun, but it can hurt your hands, so do keep that in mind. Now this little tail here, I'm going to go and glue down with this hot glue gun, and while that is going and heating up, let's go and put some fairy lights onto this. Wrapping the fairy lights from one end and then slowly pushing it to the other is the best thing to go and do for this, or you could always do this in two halves, so start off with one half, stretch the fairy lights across the back, and it looks like this. Once you're done, now we're going to go and glue this down to the wooden platform. So your glue gun should be fully and totally heated at this point. Put a generous amount of hot glue onto that little wire leg, and then stick it down. Now for the extra fairy lights, you can always wrap this around the wooden block, and this is what it looks like after you are done. Now you can turn down the lights. I feel like this came out extremely cute, and this is going to be a nice little decoration that I can go and put up either in my office or have just around my house. Thank you all so much for watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, take care, and have a great one.